Hello and welcome to Lightroom Learnings. My name is Dermot O'Donovan from Dodd Media and I've had this idea on my head for quite some time. We are going to have a bit of spare time in the next few weeks, so I'd like to put forward these videos to help you bypass a bit of that time. So, I'm an Irish landscape and an underwater photographer. So why don't you press subscribe now to see some of my adventures I've had here in Ireland and far away such as Norway, Italy and Isle of Skye. Today I'm going to show you all about Lightroom's organisational skills since it is a dam. A dam is a digital asset management so we're going to learn how to import photographs properly and how to structure them in a really unique and very structured way so therefore you can find your photographs at any moment at any time. A place for everything and everything in its place. So why don't we just jump over to the computer now and see how we're going to get through this. Okay, so we're just jumping onto the computer now and from here we're going to pull up in our catalogue. So we're going to select Adobe Lightroom Classic and that's the one that I'm working for. That's what I prefer to use at all times. Over here on the left hand panel, we're going to show you the structure and how I work. So I have the year 2014, 15, the whole way up to 2020. And you'll see the sub menu above that, which will say Western Digital 4 Terabyte or My Passport. My Passport is an SSD which I would like to work with as much as possible, simply because of the speed and the fact that I can work on an external drive. So I can use it on my 27 inch 5K monitor or else I can use it on my MacBook Pro, which I can take around with me. So therefore, if I'm working abroad or somewhere else, I can still work while I'm away from home. Up here above it are the images I've taken quite some time ago from basically 2017 downwards simply because I know I don't need those images, I don't need to get access to them because they are old and they are on what's called a spinning hard disk drive and it's a quite a large one so it's four terabytes. So they are there and then on the, so if I want to pull up something from the year 2015 so I click in here I want to go to landscape and go to the cliffs of Moher, pops up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight images from the Cliffs of Moher. And I know that they're all detailed over here in the metadata on the right hand side. We have the date that I was taken at, the time I was taken at, and what camera and what lens that we are using. Now, we can come up then to, we'll store that away, we'll keep them over there and we'll work with our SSD. So we go to 2020 landscape and we go to uh, Italy, we click that and then straight away, boom, all the images I took in Italy are there. And that's the way I like to work. I like to categorize the year, then the type of itemized thing that it is. So whether it's gonna be jobs, landscapes, scuba diving, sports, time lapses, or weddings. So that's why I have them in there. And after that then, you see Ashley and Chris, as a wedding that I did, and sports, you can see basketball, 2020 is relatively fresh, so there's not going to be too much in here. Here you have new key, you have uh, work in the pool, and then the dive show that we hosted there not too long ago. So that's exactly how my structure is going to be, but we're going to start a brand new catalogue from fresh. We're going to select it up here, so I'm going to file new catalogue. We're going to name it Lightroom Learnings. Okay, and we're gonna, you can save it to desktop or wherever you wish, and you can select the spot where you'd like it to be. So we're just gonna leave it on desktop for now. Okay, we're gonna create. Now, so we have a brand new Spanky catalog. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna import some photographs into this catalog, brand new catalog. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna select import. Okay, now we can import some photographs that are on the drive already, but we have some images, what we're gonna use is transfer straight from the memory card. So we pop our memory card into our Kingston card reader, which is a very good budget and very fast card reader. I don't like to use the internal one on the computer. These apparently are a bit faster. So up in the top left hand corner, you're gonna see devices, EOS Digital. We're gonna select that. Okay, we're gonna leave all those images there. And over here on the right hand side, this is the very important bit now, right? This is called embedded and sidecar. And what embedded and sidecar really is, it's for people who have a lot of photographs. So I'm a wedding photographer, that's my bread and butter, that's where I make a lot of my money. So therefore, I don't have too much time and I need to be able to work fast. So if you select the embedded and sidecar in that submenu that's gonna drop down, Lightroom is going to import the photos and build previews from the embedded previews. So. If the embedded preview is less than 50% uh, of the RAW's uh, resolution, 
Lightroom will use try use a JPEG sidecar and like you see them in the back of your mirrorless camera in the up there and even on the back of the LCD their JPEG previews manipulate them in Lightroom to work on them so therefore you can work much faster so if any of you know what a program called Photo Mechanic is you can use that uh, to kind of kind of have a benchmark so uh, a lot of people would use Photo Mechanic especially photo journalists especially sports ones that uh, they want to get through photographs nice and quickly to utilize that side of things and get them out into the public but for me for weddings or uh, wave photographers you know because they're going to have hundreds of photographs you really need to do select embedded and sidecar so if you select it up here you can see minimum embedded sidecar standard or one to one minimum it's going to import the photographs nice and fast no fuss about it and but it might take you a while to edit the photographs standard is just kind of normal one to one is their big massive previews so they're building them from the raws so therefore it's going to take some time to import those photographs but when you're editing them it's going to be much much faster embedded in sidecar is a good compromise so i'm going to select that okay uh, don't import selected duplicates i wouldn't bother with touching it that and i don't uh, you can don't rename the files if you want to you can but i don't like to do it i like to leave them as is so if I'm looking for an image later down the line, all I have to do is type it into the finder menu and it'll look for it. Okay, so we're just gonna select import now here. And it's gonna import those photographs into it. So we're gonna disable this here. Don't like the, the GPS coordinates. So now we have all our photographs in here, right? So now we can start working on our uh, catalog. So we're gonna, Left click this, right click, show parent folder. All right, you're gonna see pictures. So what we can do from here now is we can start working on the catalog and renaming things into structured patterns. Right click, click folder inside pictures. Okay, we're gonna call this landscape. Okay, and then what we can do underneath that, because it was out in a place called Killaloo, you do it again. Right click, create folder inside landscape, Killaloo. Enter. Now you see there's another drop down, a step down menu all the time. And what we're gonna do now, and it's gonna be easier from now on, is we're gonna select all those pictures, okay? So, and left click and drag into Killaloo. And it's gonna move the files on the disk, and that's fine. Just leave it do that. Now from now on, you're gonna do is, you can import photographs. So if I wanted to say Cliffs of Moher, I go to Cliffs of Moher and you leave it in there. So when I come in the next time and I want to import photographs that is out taking photographs with one of my mates all day long at the cliffs and I import the card and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go down to import to this folder. I'm going to select it and then I select the photographs that I'm importing and log them into the computer that way and therefore that's itemized all the time. Same thing in weddings. You can have your weddings and you can have the, the bride's couple's names. So you'd have the year, the date, the time, and everything is there. And it's just so, so much better. And I really think that if you use this structure moving forward, it's gonna be much, much easier for you. So I hope you liked today's tutorial. It's just nice and fast to get you through how I work and optimize my light and catalog to make my workflow that much better. If you have any questions in any way, shape or form, please do ask me down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer it. Now, nothing here is absolutely perfect and there is other ways to do it, but this is the way I work and it benefits me so, so much. So lads, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. And if you like this video, hit me a like button. And if you want to press that bell icon at the bottom or on the side, uh, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Ayo. Hey,